Question 20 is about increasing and decreasing functions, uh, which means it's to do with differentiation. Uh, the reason being is we need to find out the gradient to find out whether it's increasing and decreasing functions. So first of all we'll differentiate this. Quite easy to differentiate. dy by dx equals 150x just goes to 150 and then minus uh, multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1 so 3 times 2 is 6 x and that goes down to 2 okay now let's find the turning points the turning points are when the gradient equals remember when we differentiate dy by dx that gives the gradient of the tangent and the turning points are when the gradient is 0 because we get a horizontal line so we put 0 equals 150 minus 6x squared we'll take the 6x squared over the other side so we'll get 6x squared equals 150 and then we'll divide by 6 so we'll get x squared equals 25 opposite square, opposite square and something is square root so we'll get x equals the square root of 25 which is plus or minus 5 ok now the turning points are here so what we need to do now to find whether it's an increasing function is look either side of the 5 and in between these five values. So let's set up a table. We've got negative 5 is the smallest value so I'll have x is less than negative 5 and then between negative 5 and 5 so we'll put uh, negative 5 x and 5 so that means x is greater than negative 5 and less than 5 and the last one x is greater than 5 so that's the range of everything in there that covers everything now let's choose a nice easy value less than negative 5 that can substitute into the differential I'm just going to choose uh, negative 10 because it looks quite easy to work out so we put negative 10 into here so we've got 150 minus 6 times negative 10 squared 150 minus uh, 10 tens are 100 minus times a minus is a plus so that's 100 and then times by minus 6 is minus 600 now we don't actually have to work the value out we all, all we need to know is whether it's positive or negative but I will work it out anyway you can say it's minus 450 which is negative now if it's negative that is not increasing that is decreasing so it's not that one let's look at the middle one uh, a value between minus 5 and 5 well the easiest value is 0 so I'm just going to put that into here in the differential so I've got 150 minus 6 times 0 squared and we'll go straight to the answer you can see 6 times 0 squared 0 so that equals 150 and 150 is positive so that means we have got an increasing function now we'll check the last one x is greater than 5 I'm just going to choose a nice easy value which I think is 10 and substitute in the differential again so we've got 150 minus 6 times 10 squared and as you can see because we had a minus times a minus as a plus we're going to get the same value here we're going to get 150 minus 600 uh, which is minus 450 which is negative so that means this part here is where it's positive so this is where the function is increasing so that's the answer minus 5 x and 5 so x is greater than negative 5 and less than 5 let's just show you how that works on the graph to show you how that it matches now we have um, a cubic graph because it says minus 2x cubed and if it's negative cubic graph it goes down up down rather than up down up if it was positive it would go up down up but because it's negative it goes down up down and as we seen before the turning points are minus 5 and 5 for the x values so you can see there 
it's increasing between negative 5 and 5, which matches with this. So that's fine. Remember, you don't put an equals with the inequality because equals would mean it's horizontal. So it's greater than that value and less than that value. So you don't put the equals there. That's it.